Hello, I am Homo Rudolfensis. I was found in Lake Turkana, formerly Lake Rudolf, and that's where my name comes from. I am between 1.95 and 1.78 million years old. My species is extinct. I was 1.7 meters tall and weighed 64 kilograms for males and 49 kilograms for females. I lived in East Africa. My cranial capacity was 560 cubic centimeters. The finding of fossils of Homo habilis and Homo ergaster from the same period in northern Kenya opens an interesting debate about the coexistence of three intelligent species at the same time. Homo rudolfensis lived in a very hierarchical society, with a dominant male exercising dominance over the group. Due to the premature birth of the babies, my species spent a lot of time caring for them, which strengthened the group bonds. We maintained a strong rivalry with Homo habilis. Among the local fauna there were animals that are recognizable today, such as rhinoceros, zebras, lions, etc. My species was the first to build tools to hunt animals for food. Hi, I'm Homo habilis, from the Latin, which means skillful man. I am a species of archaic human, and I am between 2.3 and 1.6 million years old. Most of my fossil remains have been found in Kenya, in Aljabai. My name Habilis is in reference to the finding of lithic tools associated with my species. I was able to make gripping pressure on my hands in order to make stone tools. My species presents an increase in brain size with respect to Australopithecus, which has been calculated between 510 cubic centimeters and 600 cubic centimeters. In addition, my skull was more rounded with a shorter face, large molars with thick enamel, and absence of diastema, which is the separation between the premolars and canines. My fingers and toes were curved, indicating that we still use trees. My species was primarily a scavenger. The bipedal position in females caused a reduction of the pelvis, which resulted in earlier births, which implies more time dedicated to baby care and thus the need to maintain strong social ties, which will result in the development of a culture. Hello I am Homo orgaster, which means working man. I inhabited the area of Ethiopia, Tanzania, Kenya, and Eritrea. I am about 1.9 million years old, the climate was very arid, and the drought lasted for about 100,000 years. My cranial capacity was 880 cubic centimeters, my height was 1.60 meters, and a weight of 65 kilograms. Other physical aspects of change were the way of regulating the internal temperature, generating sweating, which caused the loss of body hair, also breathing stopped being only oral and began to breathe through the nose, which allowed a greater storage of energy and oxygenation, resulting in a greater capacity for mobility, essential for survival in the savanna. My species was the first that was able to leave the African continent, adapting to other areas of the planet with different climatic conditions. My species learned to make fire, thus we were able to live in colder places and achieve a wider variety of food, with the multitude of changes that this entailed in terms of evolution. My species achieved a great improvement in complex tool making with an Achillean style of manufacturing. Group collaboration for greater effectiveness in hunting may have been the trigger for the development of speech. Hello I am Homo erectus, my species lived between 1.9 million years and 117,000 years in the lower and middle Pleistocene epoch. I lived in East Asia, although fossil remains have been found in Africa and Europe. I had a cranial capacity between 900 and 1,200 cubic centimeters, could measure up to 1.80 meters and was very similar to the current human being. I it was a hunter and gatherer with an omnivorous diet. Subspecies include, Java man, possessed the portion of the brain that controls language, although it is not known if he actually spoke. Peking man, he left evidence of the use of fire and tools of bone and wood, made from other stones. Solitary man, originally from Java, with an unusually advanced culture, he was able to manufacture complex tools. Lantian man, presents complex carved objects such as pebbles and new fire. Nanking man, fossils were found in the Hulu cave in the Tang Mountains near Nanking, China. Yuanmo man, he was found in the Yuanmo district of Yunnan province, China, and associated tools were found. The African Homo erectus is much more modern and uses a technology called Ashlands to create its tools, while the Asian Homo erectus used Aldebay technology. Hello, I am the ancestor man, and I am considered the oldest hominid in Europe, being originally from Africa, I am also the last common ancestor between modern humans and Neanderthals. I lived about 900,000 years ago, and my species is extinct. Most individuals were between 160 and 185 centimeters tall, weighing between 60 and 90 kilograms, of robust appearance, with archaic and other modern traits, which determines an evolutionary mixture. My brain of 1,000 cubic centimeters was smaller than that of today's human being of 1,300 cubic centimeters. Because I was exposed to low winter temperatures, I may have been the first hominid species to use animal skins as a coat. Was nomadic and lived by hunting animals such as bulls, bison and deer. It was also an opportunistic predator and gathered fruits and vegetables. It used to live in groups of 40 to 50 individuals with a life expectancy of around 40 years. The tools for hunting were very simple and were made with bones, sticks and some stones that were worked in a rudimentary way. The development of very rudimentary paintings with mixtures of mud and blood stands out. For more history videos visit my channel in the video description. Next video, Neanderthal Man. 
Hello, I am Homo Neanderthalensis. I lived in Europe, Near East, Middle East, and Central Asia between 230,000 and 40,000 years before the present. My species is extinct. Several studies indicate a common origin for modern humans and Neanderthals, as well as hybridizations between both species. I had a more robust anatomy than the modern human, with broad thorax and hips and short limbs. My skull is characterized by a double arch of bone at the eyebrows, a receding forehead, no chin, and a larger cranial capacity than that of Homo sapiens sapiens. The population of Neanderthals was relatively constant during the 200,000 years that we existed, with about 7,000 individuals in Europe alone. The causes of my extinction are unknown, but there are several hypotheses. The expansion of Homo sapiens and competition for resources, contagion of diseases for which we had no defenses and hybridization. The failure to adapt to climatic changes. It also discusses the eruption of a supervolcano located in Italy, which occurred about 39,000 years ago and left an ash cloud over Europe and part of Euro-Asia. To see more history videos visit my channel in the video description.